So last time I was getting ready to leave for Superboot and it really was a great trip. We, we had really nice days meeting very nice people and, and watching a few shows and it couldn't have been any better. The, the weather was absolutely great. I walked around Berlin in my t-shirt for the full duration of the event and, and coming from the shitty weather in, in Belgium at that time, that was absolutely awesome. If you've never been to Superboot, it is such an amazing event. I, I really cannot stress enough how nice it is. The, the people there are so open, so welcoming. It's really one of the highlights uh, of the year for me. Um, and, and that is mainly because of the people. Um, the gear is nice, but the, the people absolutely make it awesome. And I can only recommend the experience. So, Doppio, how has that been going? The front panel has been giving me some more headaches than I, uh, than I hoped for. So last time I told you that there were some quality issues with the front panels of the pre-production run. And so my supplier assured me that this was a one-off mistake and so I reordered those. And unfortunately, those were not great either. Um, as PCBs, they would be fine. As front panels, not so much. So I decided to try out a different manufacturer for the front panels and those just got delivered and they look quite a bit better. Um, they also put like papers in between the PCBs uh, spontaneously without me asking and that's absolutely awesome. They're a bit more expensive but I'm also guessing that I won't need to throw away as much front panels uh, for minor defects as with the other manufacturers. So with a little bit of luck, I think the cost in the end will, will be about the same. Yeah, so what else has been going on with Doppio? I, um, I manufactured a small batch. I've been fully characterizing those. The main purpose of it is to get a feel at how consistent everything is. I get average values for, for things like signal to noise ratio, for um, gain and phase at, at certain frequencies, and then I calculate the standard deviation. And then if, if ever um, strange things would happen with new batches, I would be able to compare uh, the same kind of readings with these averages and standard deviations and see whether it's significant or not. Maybe it's total overkill, but to me it feels a bit like doing my, my due diligence. The downside is that it takes uh, a lot of time. I spent a whole day measuring only four modules. It's kind of painful. It's, it's like looking with a magnifying glass at all the minute defects in the product uh, you worked on for so long. All in all, now that we're a few days later, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the, with the results. We should be go good to go to, uh, to releasing it uh, soon. Uh, just need to write the manual. Quick side question, do people still read manuals if, if there's a good demo video do do people still read manuals because if not please let me know you're gonna save me a lot of work and then i can also start making demo videos for that purpose i i've already roughly tried out a patch idea where i mic up a, a tongue drum and a glockenspiel and then overdrive that with doppio <laughs>
<laughs> that sounds a whole lot less impressive now, doesn't it? <laughs> I am really very happy with the general sound that comes that that the soft clipping of Doppio produces. I'm I'm super super stoked about that. The reason why I'm focusing on this demo system right now is because on the 10th of June there's a small event in Ghent at the uh, location of Whisper near Doknoord, and so there's going to be a modular market, a secondhand market. There will be workshops and yeah, also quite a bit of shows. I, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, that's definitely going to be a good time. So maybe one more little story before we wrap it up for now. Maybe you, you saw this on Instagram. Steve's MS22 has been on the number one spot in the top 100 of modular grid for a few days. Um, a customer alerted me to the fact that it was really close to, to getting there. Um, so apparently in the top 100 in modular grid, you need to have at least 30 votes to be included. So for the average to be included uh, and to be ranked in the top 100. And so this customer alerted me to the fact that um, I was only missing a few votes to be really high up. And so I, I contacted a few friends who also voted. Um, and then I was suddenly in the number two spot. And then I posted this on Instagram. And then my lovely customers voted some more and <laughs> I got to be on the number one spot, which was absolutely awesome. <laughs> now, of course, as you may imagine, attracting um, Attracting attention to this also leads to people voting who may not like your product as much. So <laughs> that's also what happened eventually. Somebody downvoted it a little bit and now we're down to spot number three, I think. Um, ah, well, it was to be expected and I totally enjoyed my uh, 15 minutes of fame. So it's totally fine. Um, but yeah, I, I think that was a, a funny experience. That was a, a very short wild ride. Um, now, if you're saying to yourself, this is unjust, nobody's stopping you from going and voting and maybe helping me get to number one again, but I'm not forcing anybody's hand here. <laughs> oh, and maybe one more thing. So. Um, to further upgrade the quality of my, my videos. I got a better microphone. I'm, I'm hoping that will improve things a lot. We will find out after this recording. And I, I also got a, a very simple gimbal. Well, maybe not so simple, but a, a basic one, a nice one. And yeah, I'm hoping to improve my, my B-roll takes with that. And um, yeah, here's some footage of me annoying Marekke with the gimbal. Alright, so uh, that's it for now. Um, I'm thinking that the next vlog will include some footage from the event in Ghent. Hopefully some very nice footage. And yeah, I'm very much looking forward to that. Let me know if there's anything you're wondering about or that I should include in the next, uh, next episode. And uh, I'll think about it. But for now, take care, have a great day and see you guys later. Hey Mike, can you may help us all, dear? <laughs>